Hi, it's Virtual Media, and uh, I'm back with a Fiesta tutorial. Sorry, I've been away for so long. Uh, I just was moving and uh, everything. So let's kick kick in right now. So let's loop all these. Oops, that's too much. And uh, as you can see, I got better video card, so I, I, I'm able to record in higher quality without no lag. So uh, select all those edges, hold Shift, and uh, just drag them like that. And uh, now, actually, just drag back about that much. Yeah, and uh, weld these together. So, target weld and uh, grab. Oops, I don't know why I didn't select that. Uh, <laughs> let's go through here then. I need to move this up. There is target weld. And uh, just weld these together. Okay, that looks fine. Uh, add an edge constraint. Uh, go to the vertex mode and uh, grab this. And uh, just drag that out, straighten it out. Uh, go to perspective view. Actually, go to the back view. Top view, sorry. That's bottom. I need to reset my shortcuts because, uh, as you can see, I got a new. Uh, 3ds max 2009 so top view and uh, let's extrude them out like so oops switch off the edge constraint okay like so grab this one add this one here actually it's gonna be a bit too much I believe uh, so drag it about till the middle And uh, if I actually go to the back view, as you can see, we got done till here. So let's grab all of those. And uh, go down. So extrude them down. Uh, grab this vertex and uh, just pull it out. So, like so, and uh, okay, so it's gonna be this gap. So, let's go to the right view. I hate, I need to, yeah, to reset uh, shortcuts, customize, click customize user interface, and uh, it's gonna be an issue now, isn't it? Uh, views. So, Let's go to perspective B, right view, R, uh, sign. Where's the back view? Back view, B, sign. Top and uh, for the front, okay. And the uh, switcher off, that's it. So let's go to the right view. There's, there we go, as you can see. That's much better. Grab this one and uh, move it right up here yeah actually we're gonna have to bring those out all the way the actually we can pull them up a little no actually n yeah pull them up like that and uh, pull this one down for a nice gentle curve uh, uh, do, 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 what else the top view I don't know why it doesn't center it but alt X for transparency just going to drag this out like so and bring them in just a little bit after you've done that uh, go to the back view and as you can see it's going to mess up all our geometry so just want to fix that up like so now actually pull that back up so we've got a nice curve going and then we can actually drag this one back a little bit and to grab all of those and uh, just drag them down so let's see what we're gonna get okay that looks fine because remember that we're gonna detach all of that anyway so after we've done that we can grab all of them and uh, just actually just grab this one and drag it down 
uh, adjust it to fit this groove. Uh, bring this in, adjust it, and uh, let's make a few quotes. So rig it, connect um, one segment. Let's do it like that. Bring it in, and uh, let's just just fit. See. I don't want. I really don't want this triangle here, so I need to remove it. And uh, what I'm gonna do now? I know some of you might say it's wrong. Just delete it. Because what I'm gonna do now? It's gonna explode. You will understand. I'm gonna loop all around it. Um, hit chamfer. Open. Okay. And chamfer with close. So. And that was a motorbike. Sorry if I disturbed you. Uh, let's go right now we can actually detach the, all of this because we don't really need no actually let's finish it up uh, as you can see that's what we're getting and uh, we're gonna have to adjust some of this vert see so just let's do it now save some time so go back uh, I got my mouse is really bad so sorry about all of that uh, go to the back view and we won't really need to do much right now is just uh, drag it back once, twice, select all the vertices and then we want to center them out on I really don't want the surface, I would will, I will love to switch it up or, or to, 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 on X maybe? no yeah, should be on X, no I, no, Z, yep so on the axis we just straighten them out, let's go to the top view and uh, adjust them to the needed size there we go so what we just done, I don't know uh, let's, let's see what these verses right here for oh they're fine let's grab all of them no just leave them, uh, yeah let's d detach a whole back so detach back bumper bumper oh my god why did I name that sorry uh bumper and uh make that visible and uh we need to copy the symmetry modifier and the turbo smooth so select both of them and I uh, just paste them in you can see it's gonna look bad, so we need to jump a few edges. So loop it, deselect this. No, actually, keep that in. Jump it. Okay. And uh, now that's what we're gonna get. As you can see, nice smooth shape. Uh, we need to bring them in a little bit more. So let's just do that. Bring them in and out just a tiny bit. And uh, here we've got the back bumper, as you can see. Uh, I want to see what's wrong with this right here because I don't like the shape. Oh, alright. Uh, rig it and uh, just connect in the middle. And, uh, it's going to give us that nice curve. I don't really care about that because I'll be smoothing it quite a lot. So, by three about. So, hit the four back to see the edges. And uh, as you can see, here we've got our bumper. So, yeah. Uh, now we can add... Yeah, now we can add a groove for it. So, let's go here. Uh, we need to make uh, two cuts. Or we can make our life easier. And let 3DX, 3DS Max make them for us. So, connect. We need two segments leave it as it is and uh, select all of them make a small inset that's a big inset we need a small inset something like so extrude inwards so something like so not much just a little bit 
make same inset again and extrude that outwards by the same amount so click OK and I'm gonna have this thing right here I know it doesn't look like much right now but if we loop them and chamfer down the edges do the same here loop select this this loop chamfer uh, once we smooth everything out I just want to show you uh, we're gonna have this right here that's what we after can actually tighten up the edges a bit and uh, really sorry about the noises once again I need to close up my window so rig all of it deselect these and uh, I don't know why it doesn't deselect anything and let's just do one connect one segment slide that down cancel deselect this as well okay and uh, go to the edge edge mode and a target weld and weld these to this and this to this and uh, let's just fix this up really quickly because I'm running out of time uh, to do, do delete this, we don't need this, we don't need this, or this. And now select all of these. Z. And uh, we don't need this either. So, once we do it now, as you can see, that's what we are getting. I know it comes out a little bit, uh, we can always fix that. Just let's go to the top view, grab all these sticking out edges. Yeah, all of those sticking out edges. It's gonna be a bit bit difficult than I thought. And uh, just I don't know, drag them in a little bit. Just don't know to which point. Yeah, that's better. Uh, we can always sort that out at the end of it, uh, but. Yeah, that's the basics of it, and uh, I don't know, I'm getting some issues uh, with some of them. Actually, let's just, I know, let's just grab them, delete these two, I just right here, and turbo, turbo smooth it. And uh, we're still gonna get the sharp corners, just in a bit, a bit nicer way. So yeah, this is the back bumper part, so see you in the next video.